There was always something in the back of my mind to work on a Batman project. I've worked on plenty of space related projects and wanted to produce something for the channel that would bring us back down to earth. I've always been highly fascinated with the character of Batman. I grew up to watch the Batman animated series which to me is the definitive version of the character. A while ago I bought the box set and noticed how much of the animated series drew inspiration from classic 1940s and 1950s detective noir, a genre which I was very fascinated with. The noir aesthetic is so appealing to me because it's not just lowering the saturation, it's toying with shadows and moulding the lighting to create a certain mood and atmosphere. This is something I really wanted to experiment with as this aesthetic just worked for the dark and grim world Batman lives in. This is the reason why I decided to create Batman Noir. The first thing I did with this project was writing the script. This was the easy part as I just wanted to tell a simple 5 minute story of Batman using his detective skills to solve a crime. It was imperative to me that I tell this story through good cinematography, as I made the creative decision to remove all dialogue from the brick film. For me, this meant breaking down the script to what shots I needed to allow the audience to understand what I wanted to convey. My belief is what makes good cinematography is when you can remove all sound and it everyone knows exactly what's going on. All of this was also highlighted in a storyboard which I used as my guide while animating. If you would like to have a look at the annotated script and the first two pages of the storyboard, there is a link in the description box below. There were many things on this project that I wanted to experiment with, but the number one thing I wanted to try out was practical rain effects. I've seen this method used so many times before and I felt like this would be the best opportunity to try this out. I brought a water spray from a local hardware shop and that same day I tried this method out to mix results. Eventually I managed to perfect the spraying technique which you can see in the final product. As much as this was all hard work, the shots where Batman is standing in the rain has to be some of my favourite. What I like about current Batman media is how they've become more mature both in storytelling and in their visuals. I wanted the visuals in Batman Noir to reflect the dark and crime ridden world Batman inhabits. I didn't want to censor anything. When it came to creating the corpse you see at the beginning of the brick film, I found an old Lego figure that I knew I wouldn't need to use anymore. I then proceeded to drill some holes into him and using some red paint and plaster scene made it look like you could see his insides. The final result looks brutal and I'm so happy with how it came out. It really looked like something out of a horror movie which was obviously the intention. It was during the editing process where I decided to make the creative decision to not only have Batman's eyes glow white but also have them move just like how it was done in the animated series. When I first unveiled this idea on our Instagram, there was a minority who were not too keen on this. What they didn't know was that there were many shots of Batman where you couldn't actually see his face. Having the eyes white allowed the audience to see what Batman was looking at and the eye movement allowed Batman to give off certain expressions. Besides, the white eyes really sold on the aesthetic that I was going with. The way I achieved this was putting each frame into Photoshop and masking and cutting out each of Batman's eyes. I would then turn the cutouts to pure white and would export the image back into Premiere Pro. This was a painstaking task but really worth it in the final product. When it came to working on the Gotham City exterior shots, I was originally going to build a miniature city as I've always preferred to have as many practical and physical elements in my animations as possible. However in recent months I've become more tolerant to 3D renders just as long as it doesn't look so different from the main animation. I reached out to Jack Hester who was not only a part of our Discord server but has their very own YouTube channel where they do 3D Lego recreations and videos. They were willing to do some renders of the Gotham City landscape including some stills of the rooftop fight sequence as well as the opening shot of the city. There is a link to Jack Hester's channel in the description box below. So there you have it guys, the behind the scenes of Lego Batman Noir. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did please give it a like and if you're not a subscriber there is no better time than now. Please also make sure you check out our Instagram page and our Facebook page for updates, news, behind the scenes, everything. Please do check it out. If you have any questions about the production of Bama Noir, please put them down in the comment section down below and I will try and answer as many as possible. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video and I will speak to you guys very soon. Goodbye everyone.